History was made in central Washington yesterday. The world's first all-electric commuter aircraft took to the skies over Moses Lake. And tonight, Berseda Holgan has more on this historic flight. It's no surprise this happened here. Washington State is a pioneer in aeronautics. Now get this, that electric aircraft has similar technology to an electric car. Today's first test flight actually happened over in central Washington, marking the beginning. This morning, aviation made history as Alice, the first all-electric commuter aircraft, successfully flew around Moses Lake. The feeling here is electric. Uh, we're absolutely, absolutely excited about what we've just done uh, by flying Alice uh, successfully for the first time. Gregory Davis, president and CEO of Aviation, based out of Arlington, says the plane is built to carry nine passengers and one or two pilots, but it will be some time before commercial flights take place. In terms of time to market, the main thing that's going to gate us is the development of the battery technology. Uh, we foresee battery technology coming online uh, to power our airplane in the mission profiles we want by 2027. Davis says they are still in the multi-year process of getting the aircraft certified by the FAA. He says 50% of all domestic general aviation flights are 500 nautical miles or less. Alice has a range of 440 nautical miles, meaning... Typically speaking, you're going to fly for one to two hours in a plane like this, right? It's maybe a little less even, so that's... Uh, you know, 150 to, to 250 miles. And that's where we're looking at bringing our product to market. With this test flight having gone smooth, Davis says they will now focus on reviewing data and see how well that matched their models. Mercedes Holgan, Cairo 7 News.